obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. An injector is a system of ducting and nozzles used to direct the flow of a high pressure fluid in such a way that a lower pressure fluid is entrained in the jet and ca is carried through a duct to a region of higher pressure. It is a fluid dynamic pump with no moving parts, excepting a valve to control the inlet flow. The present problem is going to simulate an injector. The multiphase model, which consists of air and water flows, is used. Water flows through the three curved ducts into the reservoir that only has airflow inside of the space. The curved the structure of the ducts and the cone shaped state of the air filled tank distributes the water flow vortices into the injector, thereby discharging the water out of the surrounding of the cylindrical chamber of the ejector. The three dimensional geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler software. There are three ducts with a square cross section for water flow, a conical shaped area, and a cylindrical chamber. The meshing of the present model is performed by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type was unstructured and the element number is equal to 102,752. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. Also, there are several assumptions made in this project. The first assumption is that the type of our solver is set to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. And the second one is that the velocity formulation in this project is taken to be in absolute form. As for the time study, we have selected the steady time study since uh, we don't want our simulation results to be a function of time. Also, we have activated the gravity and its value is equal to minus 9.81 in y direction. Now, if you click on the phases tab under the phases section, you can see the name of these two phases. In order to add a phase, you just have to click on Add Phase button. But before doing that, you just have to add a new material for the software. Adding a material will be explained in next slides. After double clicking on the Viscos button, a new window will appear. In the Appear window, you will see that uh, we have chosen two equations, a standard k epsilon, to solve for our fluid flow. The standard k epsilon model is one of the most renowned models for solving the turbulent fluid flows and actually two equation k epsilon model allows the determination of both a turbulent length scale and time scale by solving two separate transport equation now in order to add a new material all you have to do is to right click on fluid and then select new after that in the appeared window you either can define a new material by defining its properties yourself or you can click on Fluent Database button and select new material from the list of material available in the Fluent software. For example, if you click and select the air phase, you can see the mass flow rate defined for this phase is equal to zero. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now in this part, we have extracted 3D and 2D contours by the means of CFD Post software. Now in this 3D contour, which is related to the water volume fraction, you can see that water flows through uh, three branches and then uh, enters our cylindrical computational domain and is is sprayed through this domain. Now in this 2D contour, you can easily see that the water flow is injected uh, almost in the, the middle section of our 
outlet boundary. Now in the streamlines contour you can easily see how the water has spreaded and injected inside our cylindrical computational domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.